Welcome to The Goblet Wire, a surreal microfiction podcast. Transcripts are available on our website, thegobletwire.card.co. This is Episode 3, From Root to Stem, written by Esther Ellis. The horizon is broken by a crown of stone. The island you've been seeking fills your vision. I continue rowing. I'd like to land. Time folds. Your mind doesn't snap to until your boots displace worn, smooth pebbles on the desolate beach. I pull the boat up as quietly as possible and duck behind a nearby rock. What do I see? Dug into the towering slab of stone is an abyssal cave mouth. Camped in front of it is a dusty bundle of cloth. Would you like to use one of your attributes? Discretion. I'll roll the six-sider. A2. Whether by your own folly or by the alertness of the stranger, you are discovered. Are they hostile? They continue to sit, leaning against an old spear. As they look up in your direction, the first thing that strikes you is the beard, long, white, and encompassing, hanging down past the knees. The second thing that you notice are the eyes, framed by old, sunken skin, but clear and vibrant. This ancient thing is lucid. Human? You can't tell. They call out. You there. State your name and purpose. I respond. They call me the Fisher. I was sent here on an errand. Fisher, eh? Come around, come around. I can hardly see you. It isn't polite. I make a show of placing my musket and sword down before approaching. I sit across from this person, pulling out rolling papers and dried leaf busying myself with a cigarette. I say, friendly, but tired. It's taken me all day to find this place. I've never been sent on such an elaborate job. Oh? What job is that? A delivery. Supposed to take this satchel to that cave. Well, that is quite impossible. Why is that? I'm the guardian of this cave. And what are you guarding? (gasps) Ooh, is there treasure? Of course not. This is the lair of the Sea King. It is a terrible creature. None can enter. What would happen if somebody did enter? They don't. But if they did? Well, they would be consumed, of course, and its bloodline curse would take effect. So if I walked in there with this package... You would die, and not only you. The curse goes through two generations from root to stem. It would kill your father, your grandfather, and your son and grandson if you had them. The Guardian's warning is punctuated by a biting wind. It moans through the cave's entrance. I light the cigarette. That sounds made up. It's just as real as you or me, young man. I've stood watch over this cave my entire life. My mother watched this cave before me, and her father before her. We would not dedicate our lives to a tall tale. Dictator, I'd like to roll an attribute. Which one? Righteous cause. A three. Continue. Guardian, I mean no offense, but I've been paid good money to complete this delivery. I don't know about any bloodline curse or sea king. I don't even know what's in this bag, but I have a reputation to uphold. I'm sorry, lad. It is out of the question for your own safety. Damn. That wasn't enough? The Guardian is resolute. (sighs) I didn't want to do this. The choice is yours. Hey, Guardian. Do you smoke? I have a pipe. Hand it here. Lad, I don't mean to disappoint you. It's all for the best. Perhaps we should just share lunch. I'd like that. The Guardian removes a bundle from their cloak. Large leaves unfold to reveal twice-cooked sausages and a hunk of speckled cheese. Dictator, I would like to call on my parasite. While packing the pipe, I discreetly lift my sleeve. There are many crusted holes in your skin. An orange, powdery discharge smears along your arm as you drag up your sleeve. Invisible, wispy clouds emerge from the hive of the hallucinogenic dream spores you play host to. You feel no discomfort. I flick a few spores into the pipe while he prepares our lunch. The guard takes no notice and hands over a makeshift driftwood platter with the links and cheese. I exchange it for the pipe and do them the courtesy of lighting it. Thank you. My last batch of smoke leaf went damp with the mists. 
Storms have been bad lately. You're out here every day? Every day. The Guardian takes a puff from the pipe. The spores you intentionally planted follow the smoke down the throat, into the lungs and nose. A swallow carries them into the stomach. The effect is immediate. Thick veins appear beneath the Guardian's eyes, which have gone dull and swollen. They lick their lips with heavy tongue. After another moment has passed, a doped grin emerges from their face. You have successfully infected your victim. Just one more session. This episode was written by Esther Ellis. It starred Jack Moore as Fisher of Snakes and Richard Penner as The Dictator. Art by Chandler Candela. Credit music by Oliver Morris. Editing and sound design by Esther Ellis and Justin Hellstrom. Synthscape by Justin Hellstrom. I have a secret I want to share with you. As you explore the Goblet Wire with us, you might find a voice, a writer, or a designer whose work speaks to you. You might even want to work with them yourself. After all, many of you have podcasts of your own. Go to our Twitter account. Our handle is at the Goblet Wire. If you look at our following list, you will find every person who has collaborated on a published episode of the show, at least those who dare navigate that website's treacherous waters. Next week, we complete this cycle with episode four, It Is Not Too Late, by Esther Ellis. I hope we'll see you there. Are you playing?